Well, good day, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. I pray that you are having a good day and that the blessings of God are taking place all around you. I put it to you this way. I pray that you are aware of the blessings of God that are taking place around you because they're everywhere. Uh, Isaiah said this. He said, in the year King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord and that he was high and lifted up and his train filled the temple. And among other things that he said, he said, he talked about how the glory of God was everywhere throughout the whole earth. The glory of God is throughout the whole earth. I was on my way into the office this morning and all I could do is thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for being saved. Thank the Lord for being sanctified. and Thank the Lord for being filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm glad, my friends, that I'm born again. I'm glad to be a Christian. I'm glad to have Jesus living on the inside of me. I'm grateful for the comfort of the scriptures and the comfort of the Holy Scriptures. I thank God for the privilege of being a defender of the faith. And I praise God even more for the privilege of being one of those who are called to promote the faith. We're not just defenders, but we are those who promote the faith. We're not just on the defense, warding off the devil and warding off the evil and, and quenching the fiery dots of the enemy, those fiery flaming arrows that Satan shoots at us, but we're also uh, on the offensive. We have, in, in addition to the shield of faith, we have the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, and it gives us power to move in an offensive posture, extending the kingdom, winning souls, influencing people to Jesus Christ, winning people uh, over to our side, we have the privilege and the assignment of proving Christ to be God's truth. And that is part of what I want to talk about tonight. What a privilege it is to be a believer. And I want to say to you who are watching this, um, uh, this little invitation to church tonight, let not your heart be troubled. The Lord God is with you. The Lord God is on your side. And whatever today brings, uh, be it good or bad, make sure you glorify the Lord in it because it's going to work out for you. Now, I'm here to invite you to Bible study tonight. And uh, one of the biggest challenges that I have uh, at times like these, as I do these little promos, is to keep from giving it away. I got so, there is so much that we're excited about. I, I just got off of a conference call uh, uh, this past Monday night with the uh, administrative assistants of North Carolina Third uh, Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, and we're excited about the workers' meeting that's that's soon to come, and I'll tell you more about it. Um, there are just so many things. I will be on a conference call soon with the pastors and also, you know, uh, of the jurisdiction, and also I am going to give a big shout-out probably the next time to uh, some of you out there. Our Followers are growing, they're faithful, and uh, uh, I want you to know that your love for me in this ministry and the kind things that you've said, even the role that we play in your life, we do not take it for granted. But we are grateful, and I thank you for your viewership. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your loyalty. And for those who are in the viewing area, those who are within the vicinity of the church, the members of the church, get ready tonight. Purpose in your heart today that you're going to be at the upper room tonight, on time, to meet me for Bible study. Yes, Bible study. I tell you, it is a privilege to take a, tr a weekly trip into the pages of the Scripture to see what the God of the Bible has to say to us. And tonight, we're loaded. Last Sunday... We preached 
about navigating, or should I say, negotiating the world. Negotiating the world. Tonight, I'm going to talk some more about our relationship with the world. And I'll tell you something, friends. We win. The believers are in the driver's seat as we follow Jesus Christ and walk in the scriptures. I'll see you tonight for Bible study. God bless.